Yeah. It's Isle of Wight Radio. That's Dua Lipa. We're good. Seven minutes past eight. Good morning. It's Paul and Heather here. You all right? Oh, very good. Thank you. Very good. Good. Now, uh, a weekend. It was going to be a super, super busy weekend uh, for the island. There was Pride going on. Yeah. Uh, there was the Warrior Festival as well for the Brainy Bunch. And the weather has really let everybody down. Is that I mean, it yeah. needs to go and stand in a corner and think about its actions. <laughs> it really does. It's that weather warning is in place. You know, it's like 50 mile per hour gusts of wind. So yeah, really, really bad. So both staging. of those events have been cancelled. Simon Ledger is here from Pride, looking very colourful. You are looking amazing uh, this, today, this Simon. Thank Loving you. It. Good morning. morning. So colourful. Welcome Love along it. to the show. So uh, tell us a little bit about the fact that uh, you've had to cancel. I mean, it's obvious why, but just, just for those who don't know, tell us, tell us what the implications could have been if you hadn't have cancelled yesterday. Can I correct you first? Can I say we've postponed? Oh, OK. Oh, OK. Or, 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 postponed. Uh, or I postponed. get told off. I get right, told OK. Off. No, that's, well, <laughs> okay. that's great news. That's yeah. really great yeah. news. So you've postponed tomorrow. So we've postponed the whole weekend. We have a parade on Saturday normally where uh, we have all the floats and uh, all the kids are all coming down the street dancing to music. Unfortunately, tomorrow is the worst day. There's gusts of 50 mile an hour's wind, as you said, and uh, it's just not safe enough. On the seafront, we're very exposed. Uh, we've got stages. We had a uh, 40 food trade, uh, sorry, 40 market stall traders with charities and hog roasts, uh, a stage. Obviously, it's just too dangerous. We Loads of marquees it. and wind. They yeah. just do not. 50 yeah, gazebos. They don't work, I could, they? All I could picture was Mary Poppins. And yes. I thought, no, <laughs> it's not happening. So I guess that I guess the big thing is, is that uh, it takes so long to organise this event and to postpone it must be, did you see what I did there? Well uh, done. To postpone it uh, means there's another date. So wh- when is it going to happen? Right, we're, we look like we've sorted out now the uh, Friday the 18th, Saturday the 19th, Sunday the 20th of August. Okay. Uh, we just got to rearrange all the acts. Okay. Right. Okay, rearrange. So this, oh, this is a lot of work for you guys. Uh, right. Yeah. There were do you need Heather singing? I, mi- I um, might do. <laughs> count me in. Yeah. Paul's great at backing vocals. He can play the tambourine mm, and yeah. stuff. It's we've fine. got we've got spaces. <laughs> so we've got to try and re- uh, rearrange all the acts because, uh, of course, our headline act was Woody Cook, Fat Boy Slim Son, who's yes. coming in to DJ. He's huge on the Pride scene at the moment, um, and we, it looks like we might have him uh, back oh, on okay. the Saturday. Um, and all our drag queens that were coming from the main and of course the Isle of Wight legendary Quivers yes uh, so we, we had a lot of acts that we've got to try and rearrange see if we can get them on the same dates if not swap them all around all the ferry bookings oh well we had like I think we're 80 ferry bookings <laughs> oh my goodness we well let's let's find out what's going to happen for uh, Pride take two in just a few moments time first of all this is Jennifer Page and Crush at Isle of Wight Radio's Topping in the Morning